Okay. Hello, everybody. I, I think people might be watching. Anyway, um, for those of you that are just joining us, uh, welcome to Pocosin Arts Annual Benefit Auction. Uh, Pocosin's Annual Benefit Auction this year is uh, in keeping with social distancing and party in place. So it is now, is it five o'clock, Michelle? It's five o'clock and live auction bidding has begun. So please go to your computers and log in to the bidding platform and you can start your bidding on all of the live auction pieces right now. Um, and then beginning at 535, um, the pieces will close individually and five, uh, every five minutes. So anyway, we're pretty excited. Uh, this is all new for us. And so far, it's been really fun. So um, just so you know, this auction, all the proceeds go to benefit Pocosin Arts programs, scholarships, and operations, all really critical for our school. And we really appreciate your support. Now, if you're looking around and you go, geez, you know, I got the piece I wanted in um, the first or second uh, um, silent auctions, um, you can certainly bid in the live auction, but you can also really help us out by going to our mortgage marathon and clicking on that link. And in so doing, when you make a, um, a donation of $125 or more, that that donation will go to help pay off the remainder of the mortgage on our uh, building at 201 Main Street here in Columbia. It's pretty darn exciting. Uh, this is the fourth year uh, of our mortgage marathon. This is the last leg, help us cross the finish line. So, and when you do, you'll get one of these beautiful brick pins made by Alexis Spina. She's our artist in residence, and hopefully you've found your way to her video that shows the process of her making those beautiful pins. So anyway, we're very excited to have everyone here. Remember, the live auction has already started, and uh, at 535, Susan Fecho's piece uh, will be sold, and then one piece every five minutes thereafter. If you're curious about that, you can look at the pieces on the website. Uh, they're gonna be sold chronologically and you can click on them individually to see the closing time. So get in there and bid and bid often. And I wanna introduce my friends back here, Carol Sue and Andy Keeler. They are the Alligator String Band and they are here at our live event almost every year and everybody loves them. Most of all, we love them. And so anyway, they're going to entertain you while you're bidding and we hope that you have a great time. And then I'll step back up here at about mm, five, well, 5.30 and I'll be joined by Alexa Spina and James Webb, our artists in residence. And they're gonna help uh, describe the items. We're gonna bring the ones that we actually have here and put them on the pedestal so you can take a peek at them and go ahead and bid. So anyway, thanks for being with us. And also during the music, we're gonna show us uh, a few slides that, that will help give you an idea of what goes on in our studios when we're able to have our live uh, workshops. Uh, right now, I wanna say we're really grateful. We've had a lot of great instructors that signed up to teach virtually for us, and it has really allowed us to continue our mission of craft education and uh, keep people busy and creative while they are, you know, staying home. And uh, anyway, thank you to all the artists who are doing that, teaching for us, and also thank you so much to all the artists who donated work to this, this event. Without the artists, none of this would be happening. So anyway, a big thanks to them, a big thanks to our sponsors and to you out there who are participating and bidding. So bid, bid high and we'll see you back around hmm, 5.30. Take it away. <laughs> thanks, Marlene. Uh, both Carol and I have long associations with Pocosin Arts. It's one of our favorite organizations. We're delighted to be able to support it, and we hope everybody out there is at least a little bit inspired by what we're going to do 
to go out and did, 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 did. This first song is was written by Carol Sully. Woohoo! one's a little more cheerful. Um, Sharon Jones and the Dap King cover called A Matter of Time. I could tell you a banjo joke, but I don't know any. Thank you. 
This next one Andy wrote about 30 or 40 years ago called Mm Twara Blues. Oh, look out over the water, past the channel point. Watch as the gals go sailing. As they did a hundred years ago, hundred years from now, sails set white against that blue and twilight sky. People walk in tight pools, trying to keep them cool. Look at all that water moving in those pools. It's taken by the two guys, stood on the pools. They leave me on the shore, wondering why. All alone under that blue and twilight sky. Lands out there somewhere, ragged tree lines edge behind the sound and sky joint seamlessly in gray. Those boats ply the waters with a steady upward drive. Fishermen tend their paths, not so much stones. It's a way of life, it's heavy out. They feel it in their bones. I too strong for them to turn away. They're still out there, gonna make it one more day. Oh, look out over the water 
Lost under the bridge, the days and years of life's gone floating by. The seas are getting higher and it's harder to hold on to them. It's weaker than the water in the sky. People live in the landscapes they see through coastal memes. Reflections in the water are never what they see. But the edges and the islands to call us in our dreams. Mind how wooden ships with sail so wide that I. To see them set against the blue beach water sky. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Andy wrote that one. Yes. Woo, cheese! All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Webb here, resident artist in clay at Picosan School of Fine School of Fine Craft. So now is time to start bidding. Bidding has begun. So let's get ready to bid. Bid high, bid often. And if you're a winning bidder, James will record a message for your answering machine. <laughs> So this is a song that Carol Lee wrote about food. Or the denial there. It's about drinking in moderation. <laughs> Something that we're definitely against. Who takes the cake? You took the cake. Who takes the cake? I'm sure it was you. Who takes the cake? I think it's up on the auction. I'm too vain to eat cake. Cause I'm way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Saving up for the fear. I'm way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Saving up for the fear. I'm too vain to stick out my tongue, show my bum, this a come. I'm too vain to stick out my tongue, and I'm way too vain to eat cake. I'm too vain to call you a bitch, snitch about who you ditch. I'm too vain to call you a bitch, and I'm way too vain to eat cake. 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 Saving up for the beer. I'm way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Saving up for the Okay. I'm too vain to let my whiskers grow. Dressed like a hoe, trying to steal your bow. I'm too vain to let my whiskers grow. And I'm way too vain to eat cake. I'm too vain to hoard the cash. Give a lash, smoke the hash. I'm too vain to hoard the cash. And I'm way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. For the beer, I'm awake to bang to eat cake. Wake to bang to eat cake. Wake to bang to eat cake. Saving up for the chocolate. I'm too vain to kill a bear. Oh, country for poor bear. I'm too vain to kill a bear. And I'm wake to bang to eat cake. I'm too vain to wear polyester, pick that flowers look like a jester. I'm too vain to wear polyester, and I'm too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Saving up for the beer. I'm way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Way too vain to eat cake. Saving up for the tequila. Too much to take too much. I like drinking too much. 
Chug the drink too much, oh my. Chug the too much, chug the drink too much. If it's nine beers today, then I can have none till tomorrow. Cause I'm way too big to eat cake. Way too big to eat cake. Way too big to eat cake. Saving up for the beer, I'm way too big to eat cake. Way too big to eat cake. Way too big to eat cake. Saving up for the Ogrenetta Branca. Oh, I ain't too bad to walk with a walk up break a hip with be a disaster. I ain't too bad to walk with a walk about a way to bend it. Ain't too bad to swim in the sea, pants to pee, splash with clear. I ain't too bad to swim in the sea, but I'm way too bad to eat cake. 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 Saving up for the beer, I'm way too bad to eat cake. Way too bad to eat cake. Way too bad to eat cake. Saving up for the cool crap beer. So ne Thank you. next year we'll get to have some cool craft beer right here in the street under the tent with next year's live real in-person auction Woo! where we can bid, lot, bid, bid high and bid often. We get more food. Andy wrote this one called cornbread. Steak with fried potatoes, gazpacho made with fresh tomatoes, other times just crackers and cheese. I'm crazy about it. all I get is cornbread and peas. She feeds me on cornbread and peas. Makes me say thank you and please. Feeds me on corn, evening, noon, and morn. All I get is corn bread and peas. Take rye or pumpernickel chips, a Reuben and a big dill pickle, but for me it's peas and cornbread on the top. She feeds me on cornbread and peas, brings me right down to my knees. She feeds me on corn, even the noon and morn. All I get is cornbread and peas. My mama left when I was two. Daddy, he didn't know what to do. He taught me how to cook cornbread and peas. I'll try you a map how to get the wind dixie. You can choose a what you're gonna fix me. While you're there, pick up some more to be. Pick me up some more cornbread and peas. I'm 
It's all about appetite Seems I hunger day and night All the different foods won't let me be But corn and peas by any name Look and taste and smell the same Eyes of a last variety She feeds me on corn bread and peas Brings me right down to my knees She feeds me on corn Even the noon and morn Wish I'd never been born My curls have all been shown My hopes are shredded and torn It makes me feel forlorn She feeds me on corn bread and Thank you. Yeah. Andy wrote that one. It's about corn print. I think it's got something to do with it. It's corn print. I'll call it. We have time for one more before we're going to the exciting live auction where you guys are going to bid things up to incredible heights. This is a song called Chop My Money by the Nigerian band P-Squared. You're getting a very unusual Americana version of a Nigerian pop song, which you know is, happens all the time here in beautiful Columbia, North Carolina. <laughs> So chop, to chop something in Nigeria is slang for to spend it or to make it disappear. You chop. So you're going to chop your money on this auction. So bid high, bid often. Your seduction makes sure that we stay behind. It's your drug now, kill anyone for your time. Yeah, tie hi, tie on, yeah. Even though I got much more, you're the reason there'll be more. Yeah, tie hi, tie on, yeah. Even though I got much more, I don't mind if you chop my money, chop my money, chop my money, cause I don't care. Chop my money, chop my money, chop my money, cause I don't care, don't care, don't care, no fear, I got a plenty, don't care, don't care, no fear, lady she loved me. And now I think, live like I am, know the day 
there's nothing stopping me. The day she feel my swag. She be my best cup, the Mary Lilla. She made me high, 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 yeah. You see this baby, you have no go really. This girl no die, 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 yeah. You see this baby, oh, tell him I say. My money, cause I don't care. Take my money, take my money, take my money, cause I don't care. Don't care, don't care. No, 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 And now for the main event. Hi, my name is Lexa Spina, and I'm the current medals resident here at Pocosin. And we're going to start the auction, live auction now. And the first piece we have up is by Susan Fecho, and it's called Along the Crooked Road. It's made of graphite, gouache, seed pods, and encaustic on cradled board. Susan works as a printmaker and illustrator, and she has been accepted into several, several major collections. Smithsonian's Institution's National Portrait Gallery Library in Washington, T. DC, the World and Image Department of the Victorian and Albert Museum in London, and the National Museum of Women in, in the Arts. The piece closes at 535, and I just want to remind you guys that there is a bit of a delay between this video and the bid um, site, so keep your eye on the bidding site for the actual time. Thank you. Thank 
All right, it's your good old buddy James Webb, and I'm back just to break this one out here. This is number 98 uh, bidding auction. It is Sandy Blaine. It is a multi spouted flower vessel. Sandy Blaine is a professor emeritus in ceramics at the University of Tennessee, and uh, she is the director emeritus of Aramont School of Arts and Crafts in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And her background includes a bachelor's of science in art education from Northern Illinois University and an MFA in ceramics from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Uh, this is a very, very beautiful uh, piece of work. And I know, as a ceramic artist, I know a lot of uh, multi spouted vessels. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a very beautiful one. The glaze running into the uh, crevices, uh, the way it fluxes out, extremely nice. So uh, grab your auction cups and uh, fill it with just a little bit more wine. And uh, get a little bit more loose and tee it high and let it fly, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bid on this right now. Okay, still open for three and a half minutes. Thank you. glasses <laughs> hello everybody this is a professional production <laughs> not <laughs> okay well but we are having a lot of fun um, and uh, I want to announce the next piece it's a really gorgeous piece by Lisa Lemaire and it's a cowl linen shirt and so it's 100% linen. It's designed and constructed by the artist with pin tuck stitching detail. And the buyer may select the size. So don't be afraid to bid on this one. Uh, Lisa is also a metalsmith in addition to making clothing. She exhibits her work at juried national shows and galleries. And her artistic training includes classes and workshops at the College of the Albemarle. Pocosan Arts, Penland School of Crafts, and various other organizations. Um, Lisa also has a degree in Russian language from Georgetown University. So anyway, this is a beautiful piece. Don't let it pass you by. Thanks. Thank you. 
We, we, we uh, mercifully interrupt the banjo music to tell you that this is a great piece and you should definitely bid on it. Um, um, and so we just wanted to make sure that you weren't sort of running away from your computer. Uh, come back, it's safe, bid high, and you know, it'll all be over in a minute. have Marty and this was made by Margaret Couch Cogswell. It's made from paper mache, ink, graphite, gesso, and acrylic paint. Margaret received a BA from Rhodes College and continued her education at Rhode Island School of Design, Aramont School of Arts and Crafts, and Penland School of Crafts where she, is a, she was a resident artist from 2008 to 2011. Margaret has taught and taken workshops here at Picosan Arts. And so the bidding for this piece closes at 5.50. And just remember, there is a delay between our video and the bidding website. Thank you. How about a Johnny Cash cover? Big river, and I'm gonna lay right down here till I die. Well, I met her accidentally in the same park in Minnesota. Tore me up every time I heard her draw that southern draw. Followed my dream back on stream, cause walking in Davenport, and I'll follow you, big river, when you fall. I thought that we could better how to cry, cry, cry. Hot clouds how to cover up our clear blue sky. Choose a crop for that woman. Gonna put you in a big river, and I'm gonna lay right down here till I die. Bit hard, bit fast. Follow her down to St. Louis later on down the river. 
Brady said she's been there, but she's gone, man, she's gone. Next to Memphis, Tennessee, but she just walked away from me, raising her eyebrows and was gone alone. Let's up that people in the willow, hide and cry, cry, cry. Talk the clouds, gotta cover up a clear blue sky. Here's a cry for that woman, gonna fuck you in a big river, and I'm gonna lay right down here till I die. Bit off and... Down that Rouge River Queen, roll on. Take that woman down to New Orleans, New Orleans. I give up, I've had enough. Dump my place into the gulf. She loves you, Big River, Mother and Mary. I took that woman with a hide a cry, cry, cry. Talk to her, try to cover up a clear blue sky. Tears of cry for that woman. Gonna fuck you, big river, and I'm gonna lay right down here till I die. I'm gonna lay right down here till I die. I'm gonna lay right down here till I die. Johnny Cash wrote that song about the beautiful Scuppernong River right here in beautiful downtown Columbia, North Carolina, where everybody should come next year for the auction. I don't have the microphone, but I hope you can hear me. Oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, oh. Okay, this next piece is by Tanya Crane. And uh, I hope everyone will get in and bid on this. Tanya is a really incredible artist. She's taught many online workshops for us. Please read her bio and watch this short video where she talks about her piece. Thanks. Weird, right? No. Hi there, my name is Tanya Crane. Hi. Um, I'm here to talk a little bit about how Pocosin has um, touched my life. Um, first of all, I went to Pocosin for a residency last winter called Project Mesh. Um, me and I think 10 other enamelists got together and shared time, shared the space uninterrupted. Um, we did demonstrations for each other. We showed each other our work. Um, it was an amazing, relaxing, productive time. Pocosin for um, students who want to take classes there is just that, it's, it's a productive time, it's a time to really concentrate on your work. And I think these kinds of places need to be supported. A way that I'm going to be supporting Pocosin this year is by donating this brooch. Um, and the proceeds will be, will go towards Pocosin, um, I think student scholarships and operation. Um, this is made from enamel. It's a hollow form. And then this is a piece of petrified wood. And it's been set in a sterling silver setting and it is a brooch. So I encourage you to log on to their auction portal and bid on this brooch and support Pocosin. Um, because these places need your help. Thank you so much.
pulling me down. Your mama, your mama says I'm a fool. Yeah, maybe that's true, cause I can't stop thinking about you. Okay, ready for the next piece. This is uh, bidding, uh, number 102. This is Lynn Nash. The title of this is Dottie. And in her own words, a quote from her, since the world I grew up in a world that did not actively encourage art careers, I majored in psychology. But without a doubt, the seed to create was there since early childhood waiting to germinate. By the fourth decade of my life, I knew I had to create art. And so I decided to step into the artist's role that was waiting for me to say yes. So ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy this short video from Lynn Nash. And remember, keep bidding. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lynn Nash and I'm an artist in Northeastern North Carolina. I do mostly abstract work, and this is the painting I am donating to Custom Arts for their benefit option. This is my studio, which um, I want people to have. It's across the street from my house. Uh, it's an old house from the 1920s, and it's got the old windows and lots of flaws, but it makes a perfect studio. And uh, we, we busted out these walls. I just have to say, I wish everybody could see how this painting looks in the light. Um, perfect for me. I never thought I'd fill it up, but now I paint mostly larger pieces, so it does. It, I just got every square inch of it. It's, this is what this is what I do. If, I, if I'm in here and I don't have a lot of time, I can at least make marks. Mark making is so important. Just get in the rhythm. And a lot of a lot of the marks won't stay here. They'll be gone. They'll be covered up or they'll be partially obscured. But there's something really satisfying about making them. It's just it's like magic. <laughs> it's just fun. It works, what doesn't work, or you're, you're figuring out things that even if you're not completely aware of it, you're figuring out ways of making marks or taking marks away, uh, mixing colors that you just don't, you don't get any other way except doing it. So, uh, I think it's finished when it, when it looks like everything works. I took a fabulous workshop with Anthony Ulensky, who is a dear friend and, and a wonderful teacher, and I met Feather. And I met another really good artist friend, Renee, and it was just life changing for me. Uh, just being there, and, and then I've been wanting to support it ever since because I just I think it's a magical place. It's a 
beautiful place. There's so much creative energy and so many good people. I don't see how you could not want to support it. So it's, it's one of my favorite places on the planet, really. Sorry, I misread my cue from Marlene there before I broke in on the video. But it, this is really a great looking painting, and I wish you could see it straight up instead of over the, the, uh, uh, the interweb. <laughs> So our next piece that Marlene is bringing up here is a dipper by Greg Wilbur. And it is made from brass and it's hammered from a single sheet. Greg is a metalsmith from Portland, Oregon and has been making art for 40 years. He is known for raising forms from a single flat sheet of metal and this dipper is a form made using this technique. Greg teaches around the world and last year he taught here at Picosan Arts for the first time. And this piece closes at 6.05. This is another song about a river. It's the where's James? It's this about the James River. James River Blues. Oh yes. <laughs> James River Blues I just heard the awful news I could steer around the rocks But they're busting down the docks James River Blues the train came on through And the words gotten slow Where's the boat man to go? I think I'll On down To Richmond Town They don't need us anymore 
Well, then freight from shore to shore, that big iron hauls much more than we ever could before. I've seen good men going wrong, and I've seen bad ones getting right. As that river rolls along. It's not every day I feel so special. There's a whole song dedicated just to me. So, all right. So this next piece, and remember, there is a little bit of a video delay uh, between the video uh, and what you're seeing there on the screen. And this is item number 106, Wade. I'm sorry. This is a, a number a 104. This is Ben Jordan. This is Ram Sculpture, Low Fire, Terracotta, Cone 04, and Under, and under glaze, glaze, and Gold Lusters. So Ben has an MFA from Virginia Commonwealth University and was a resident at Picosan Arts here. When 15. So, ladies and gentlemen, grab life by the horns. Is this a Dodge commercial truck video? No, this is Picosan Arts Benefit Auction 2020. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Say hi and introduce myself, talk a little bit about the piece that I submitted for the auction and also talk about Pocosin. After graduate, I went down to North Carolina, got accepted into Pocosin for a long-term residency and had a great time. It was a really nice place for me to, it's a nice place for me to land after grad school, really. Um, having that sort of uninterrupted time at Pocosin to really suss some of that stuff out and figure out what the heck I was doing with ceramics was super helpful. Um, the facilities that Pocosin offered me, um, the housing was amazing to have. And just, yeah, the just the overall support, you know, it's been really helpful. Um, also, just the teaching opportunities were great at Pocosin to get a, a just more practice at teaching, get more teaching experience, and not just teaching at like a college level, but teaching little kids, teaching um, adults was <clears throat> to get that wide range, um, especially the kids were pretty entertaining. Um, but as far as gave for the auction, it's the bighorn sheep, the ram's head sculpture. So this was probably my favorite piece to several years. I really, I really like this piece. Um, and as far as the surface design goes, that's all hand, it's all hand carved. Um, using that process scraffito, which is basically like putting a slip over the clay and then carving through it to show the clay color underneath. Um, so that was all freehand scraffito. And the design originally, it's kind of my own take on um, like Western leather work being on the East Coast and kind of missing home. So the design that you see on the, on the bighorn sheep. Um, don't you cry for me All I come from Alabama With my P.A. and J.O. on my knee A buckwheat cake 
was in a mouth. Alright, says I'm coming from the south. Susanna, don't you call? Yo, 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 Susanna, don't you call for me? Or I come from Alabama with my B A N J O on the I'm from Alabama, my family from Louisiana, my true love for the same ha ha ha, Susanna, don't you call for me, or I come from Alabama, and Money. All I come from Alabama with my P A N J O on my name. All I come from Alabama with my P A N J O on my name. So the next piece we have up is by Maya Aleppo, and it's actually the piece I'm wearing now. And I just want to say it's really comfortable and quite a beautiful piece. And it's called Gold Bling. It's made from steel, silicone, and 24 karat gold-plated steel. Maya began her career with a degree in biology and community health from Tufts University. She later attended Pocosin's nine-week medals and business program in 2010 and went on to earn her MFA from SUNY New Paltz. She also received training from various craft schools, including Aramont School of Craft, Arts and Crafts, Penland School of Crafts, and Haystack Mountain School of Crafts. Maya taught a workshop at Pocosin in 2019 and currently works from her studio in the Brewhouse Association on the south side of Pittsburgh. And this piece closes at 6.15. I don't know why it just feels so weird. <laughs> no. I love it. I wish I could. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a message from me. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a message from me. I'll see you tonight. We're coming to the show of my new paintings. The wine and cheese and PRBs to be counted. Elbows and patchouli entertaining. The numbers two, four, two, four. Pack em, pack em, pack em. Mm -hmm. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a message from me. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a message from me. Hey kids, it's Thursday. Bobby love me show Sunday eight. A night of a cow skid, don't forget kids. Wrap it up, we're gonna be great. My number's two four, two four. Pack em, pack em. Mm -hmm. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a message for me. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a message for me. Congratulations. So you've been selected to win a magical five nights getaway. You can bring all of your kin. Reservation too far, too far. Pick 'em, pick 'em, pick 'em. Oh yeah, this is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a message from me. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. This is a message from me. Call me back. It's a point.
came off of the answering machine. Bit high, bit often. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the penultimate piece up for grabs tonight. So if you've missed out on some earlier, then be sure to bid high and to bid often on this one because we've just got two left of the live auction left. This is num uh, item number 106. This is Wade Brick House. It is called Whaler. It's inspired by whaleboats, and this piece is covered in text from Moby Dick. It is also made from wood, vellum, wax, linen, thread, and metal. So Wade Brickhouse is a native North Carolinian, now resides in Chattanooga, Tennessee with his wife, two kids, and two Italian greyhounds, all of which are a constant source of inspiration for Brickhouse. So after studying architecture, Wade spent nearly 28 years in the field of graphic design, and he was the sole proprietor for uh, a design studio uh, serving uh, regional and international clients. He has since chosen to pursue his interest in the fine arts and crafts, attending Penland School of Crafts and Aramont School of Crafts, Arts and Crafts, and focusing on paper and uh, book arts. So it's got the text of Moby Dick on it. And I know some of us are very nostalgic about the story of Moby Dick, so infamous, and then movies been made about it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have a chance to own a piece that you can vicariously live through that story. So bid high. And remember, there is a little bit of a video lag, and this closes at 620. Good luck. 625. Good. 620. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All you people who know about minutes and stuff like that. This is, oh, this is another piece of water. <laughs> I'm a baby living by the San Francisco Bay. Delana took her part away. Didn't mean to treat her so bad. She was the best girl I ever, ever had. I said goodbye and I made her cry. Now I'm gonna lay down and die. Ain't got a nickel and I ain't got a lot of sedan. She's gonna come back. Think I'm gonna lose my mind. Never get her back to stare. Hey, ain't gonna be another brand new day. Walking with a baby down by the San Francisco Bay. She used to call my name And I get her back to stay Hang on to be another brand new day Welcome to the video I'm done San Francisco day
Okay, so are we, yeah, we still have a little bit of time left on the whaler. So anyway, everybody bid, 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 bid. And now that item has closed and we are now looking at uh, Frank Sellers' beautiful cutting board. It is made with cherry, maple, and walnut. And uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? It's an end grain. Uh, cutting board and and a knife and so Frank is a retired engineer and executive and Frank has been involved with Pocosin Arts for a really long time uh, he also served as a member of the board of directors for Pocosin Arts he's an avid woodworker and he generously donates his work to us just about every year so Whoever gets this piece is getting a real prize. And also there is one more fun fact about this cutting board. Carol Sue, who is playing in the band. Carol, tell us what this is from a tree in your backyard. Black yeah, the black walnut is from Carol's backyard. So anyway, um, last chance to bid on a piece in our annual benefit auction. Go to it. John Hardy was a desperate little man Carried two guns every day Shot a man on the West Virginia line And you ought to see John Hardy get away Oh boy! I've seen John Hardy get away John Hardy didn't have a ballroom door Didn't have a hand in the game this woman and throw down 50 cents says, put my man in the game. Oh boy! Put my man in the game. John Hardy, he lost that 50 cents, it's all that he had in the game. Drew out the 44 to hang him by his side, and he blew out that poor man's brains. Oh boy! Blew out that poor man's brains. John Hardy and the Keystone Bridge thought that he'd be free. Step the sheriff and I take him by the arm. Says Johnny, come along with me. Come on. Johnny, come along with me. Back in jail, oh, locked John Hardy back in jail. John Hardy had a pretty little girl, the dress that she wore was blue. Came skipping through the jailhouse hall, saying, oh, Poppy, I'll be true to you. Oh, Poppy, I'll be true to you. Hardy had another little girl, just that 
she wore was red. Followed him up the gallows pole, saying, Poppy, I'd rather be dead. Poppy, I'd rather be dead. Well, up into the east and up into the west, been the whole world round. Been to the river and I've been baptized. Now I'm off my hanging ground. Oh boy! Now I'm on my hanging ground. Except for don't care because we still um, would like to announce our mortgage marathon once more. And Michelle is going to put some images up of our beloved building and the beautiful brick pins that you can get when you bid $125 or more. And then another special bonus, we're going to keep the bidding open for three minutes. And please get in there, make a donation for our Mortgage Marathon. And everyone that makes a donation will also be entered to win a resort package to Antigua. So get in there and bid, and chances are really good. So, you know, help us pay off our mortgage. It's the last leg of the Mortgage Marathon. It's been a really fun race to the finish, and you can help us get over the finish line tonight. Um, and you might win that great uh, resort package to Antigua. Who doesn't want to go to Antigua? And I should say to you also that, um, well, hello, Kitty. It's, I feel like I'm on a Zoom call. <laughs> um, yeah, the trips are good through uh, 2022, 2022, December 2022. So don't be afraid. Um, you don't have to travel right away, but it sure would be great to be on the beaches in Antigua, relaxing, and you can wear your brick pin with your bikini, you know, or whatever you want to wear. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we'll give it a couple more minutes and, you know, please bid. And um, this has been really fun. Uh, let's see. A couple more minutes. And then we're going to do the drawing for all the resort packages for everyone that uh, purchased a ticket to tonight's event, uh, a party package one. So we'll just give it a couple of more minutes. I hope y'all are bidding. I can't see if you are or not, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> so anyway, I wish I could take you uh, on a little walking tour. Um, if only John could pick up that camera and follow me. Um, this building right here is our most recent addition. And if you walk right around the corner, it's really gorgeous. It sits along the Scuppernong River. And when we are in session with workshops and whatnot, People really enjoy sitting out there having lunch or maybe having a beer after a workshop. It's a really great place to be. And then directly across the street is our lodge facility. So it's a really nice place to stay while you're here taking a workshop. And then also the building that we're uh, finishing um, our mortgage on is the 201 building. It's made out of brick and it's close to 100 years old. And it's a really fantastic studio building. It has our clay studio, our metal studio, and also uh, our resident artist apartment. It's a really fine place to be. So anyway, we'll give it 30 more seconds and then we'll shut it off and we'll do the drawing for the resort packages uh, for, for uh, people who bought a party package one. And um, yeah. So we'll announce the winner for the Mortgage Marathon drawing uh, hmm, probably on social media. So anyway, uh, thanks for hanging with us. And thank you so much. Uh, while we're waiting, I want to thank uh, the Alligator String Band, Carol Sue and Andy Keeler. You guys have made the evening so much fun. And also to our, my staff, uh, without them, none of this would happen. And to John McCord and Coastal Studies Institute, um, and also all the sponsors that helped with our event tonight. We really appreciate you. So, okay, get one more mortgage marathon in there. And now we're gonna switch and do the drawing for the resort packages. Let's, can you bring that bowl over here, Alexis, and we'll, 
we'll do that drawing. Um, how about putting it right here? If somebody would grab the cutting board, some lucky person's going to get to take that home. <laughs> And I should say this too, that if you did win a piece in the silent or the live auctions, we'll be reaching out to you next week and arranging the shipping, or you can also arrange to pick the things up here at Pocosin that we do actually have in our possession. So um, without further ado, let me get one package here. Let's see here. I need this. Okay, so. All right, here we go now. So this first package and Michelle, let's see, I'm trying to just be extra fair. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. And this next uh, trip is a trip to the Barbados. And actually I should say it's just for the resort package and it's Mr. and Mrs. John McCord. <laughs> here you go, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Okay, so let's draw another one. And we have Brian and Faye Edwards, and they are going to the Grenadines. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, and we have, last but not least, St. Lucia. This is fun. I could do this all day. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We have... Melanie Roll is going to St. Lucia. All right, congratulations to all of our winners. And a big hearty thanks to you all for tuning in and being with us tonight. Stay safe and come visit when you can. Thanks. Woo! Oh.